Hey guys, this is Sharani. Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy breakfast casserole. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is boil my eggs. And here I have 10 eggs boiling. While that's cooling, I'm going to work on the other stuff. Okay, so to my pan set over medium heat, I'm going to add half pound of bacon that I cut into small pieces. I'm just going to let this cook until it's nice and crispy, then drain out the oil. I got this recipe in the mail from the grocery store that we go to. They always send me recipes and coupons and I always use them. I only made a few changes to their recipe to suit my liking. As always, I'm going to have the exact measurements in the description box below for you. I'm going to put my bacon on some paper towel to drain. Make sure to drain out the oil from your pan also, you don't need that. To my pan, I'm going to add half cup of chopped onion. And one whole chopped red bell pepper. It needed a little bit of oil so I went back in there and added about a tablespoon of oil. Let that cook a few minutes or until the onion is nice and translucent. Set that aside. Okay, so I already went ahead and peeled my eggs. I'm just going to cut them into bite-sized pieces. The way I like to boil my eggs is let it boil for 10 minutes and then turn off the stove, remove it from the heat and let it sit in a pan for 10 minutes and then cool it off with cold water and peel it. If you do it this way, you'll get the perfect hard-boiled eggs and they will be so easy to peel. Okay, to the eggs I'm going to add half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, and two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. Mix everything together. Now I'm going to add the pepper and onion mixture. the bacon that I cooked up earlier one cup of frozen hash browns and one cup of cheese this is the cheese I'm using that's what the recipe called for mix everything together I just like to mix everything by layers Okay, to that I'm going to add half cup of sour cream. And the last thing I promise you is half cup of mayo. Give that one last final mix. I love this recipe so much because to me it's just a perfect recipe for a brunch. Now I'm just going to put this in my casserole dish and I greased it with cooking spray. Oh my goodness, this bowl was so heavy to hold up. I had my hubby trying to help me hold it up so I could scrape it out. <laughs> Just be sure to evenly spread it out in a dish. Be 
bake this in a preheated 375 degrees Fahrenheit oven for 30 minutes. Oh, look how delicious this is. It's nice and bubbly. To make it a little bit fancy, you're going to garnish it with a little bit of chopped green onion. All these delicious flavors together just reminds me of a potato salad. What I like to do with the leftovers is the next day to toast up a piece of bread and put it on the bread so then it tastes like an egg sandwich. It's really good. Every time I make this, I think, oh, I wish my mom was still here. This would be the perfect thing to make her for Mother's Day. I don't want to make my videos sad, but around this time of the year, you know, Mother's Day is coming. You go to the store, you see all the Mother's Day cards and everything. It just makes me sad to know that I'll never be able to do that again. So if you have someone special to make this for, make it for them or make it for your family. Just enjoy the moment together. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Every thumbs up helps to get my videos out there. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next one. Take care. Bye.